There was a part during the debate when they were talking about taxes. And Kamala Harris said something, and then Mike Pence corrected her, and then she said, that's not what I said. And I'm thinking to myself, we literally just heard you say, you must think we're stupid. The Democrats think that people that are voting for them are stupid. And let's be honest, if you're voting for these people, you probably are. But here's what happened during the debate. There were a couple of moments during the debate. And, and Kamala Harris, I think she had some Hollywood writers or some comedians or some, you know, the people that write these quips and things. She had, she had her pre-planned her, her pre comments and she kicked right out of the gate. She came in with the first question about coronavirus and she had this line that she wanted to deliver and she she looked right in the camera and she was so proud of herself when she said this. The American people have witnessed what is the greatest failure of any presidential administration in the history of our country. And she's talking about the 200 some odd thousand deaths from coronavirus. And Mike Pence, again, the, the Matt, I mean, he knew it was coming. He knew this was going to be there, but he also was, don't forget, and is the head of the coronavirus task force. So this is a big night for him as well. And he looked right at her and said, I cannot believe you said that. When you say what the American people have done over these last eight months hasn't worked, that's a great disservice to the sacrifices the American people have made. And when you think about it, he's absolutely right. When she says you've witnessed the greatest uh, you know, mistake or the greatest failure in presidential history, it wasn't the failure of one president. It was the failure of 360 million Americans who had to stop working, who had to stop socializing, who had to stop going to work, who had to stop going to school, who had to stop going to the grocery store, who all had to wear masks and get tested and who were panicked and who didn't know what was going on and who were losing their jobs and couldn't pay their mortgage. It was all these first responders who had to go out and test people and, you know, it was all these athletic teams and think about the college campuses and the athletes who couldn't go out and play in the in the March Madness tournament and the trips that were canceled and all of the you know, the hopes and dreams the graduations it was not just Donald Trump it was everybody in America work I mean I feel like I've had two jobs for the past nine months don't you I feel like my two jobs have been hosting a radio show and not getting coronavirus and that is that's every American has those two jobs and has had those two jobs since since January, since February. And when Kamala Harris disses the failure of the president of the United States because coronavirus has killed 200,000 people, she is dissing everybody. You, me, Mike Pence, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, everybody else who has had to sacrifice something, whether it's time away from school, time away from work, money, health, anything, time with your grandparents, anything. If you've sacrificed, Kamala Harris is calling you a failure. Hashtag fail. That's how she kicked it off. Thank God Mike Pence was there to point it out to everybody. And then she went into the vaccine. If the public health professionals, if Dr. Fauci, if the doctors tell us that we should take it, I'll be the first in line to take it. Absolutely. But if Donald Trump tells us I should that we should take it, I'm not taking it. And there she is again. She thinks she's being cute. Somebody wrote her this line. The, the moderator, Susan Page, says, would you take a vaccine if it came out? And she said, oh, well, let's see what my Hollywood writers told me to say. They told me to say, if Dr. Fauci says take it, if the FDA says take it, fine, I will. But if Donald Trump says take it, I ain't taking it. And Mike Pence, he, he has something ready for her on that one, too. The fact that you continue to undermine public confidence in a vaccine, exactly. if the vaccine emerges during the Trump administration, I think is, is unconscionable. And Senator, I, I just ask you, Stop playing politics with people's lives. Oh, man, to the heart, like a dagger to the heart. She, her face, she realized that he's got answers for everything. When she tried to be cute, he got serious. And when she was being serious, he got cute. And that's what happened with the tax cut debate, which was probably one of the biggest lies. They really think we're stupid. Listen to Kamala Harris talk about the Trump tax cuts that Joe Biden is going to repeal. On day one, Joe Biden will repeal that tax bill. He'll get rid of it. And what he'll do with the money is invest it in the American people. Okay, so she says on day one, he'll repeal Trump's tax cut, which means taking your money and then Joe Biden will invest it in the American people. So Pence turns around, looks at the camera and says, hey, everybody. America, you just heard Senator Harris tell you, on day one, Joe Biden's gonna raise your taxes. And then Kamala Harris says, wait a minute, I didn't say that. Joe Biden has been very clear he will not raise taxes on anybody who makes less than $400,000 a year. He said he's going to repeal the Trump tax cuts. Mr. Vice President, I'm speaking. 
Well, <laughs> I'm speaking. Be important if you said the truth. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm speaking. Well, if you're going to speak, you should probably try telling the truth. She literally in the same breath says we are going to repeal the Trump tax cut. Now, the tax cut gave you two thousand dollars on average if you were an American household. If you repeal it, guess what happens? That two thousand dollars is going to be taken away, which means your taxes will be raised. You will be paying on average two thousand dollars more in taxes. And then she has the audacity to look right in the camera and say, we're not going to raise taxes? Joe Biden has been very clear. He will not raise taxes on anybody who makes less than $400,000 a year. Yeah, he's going to repeal. But then remember minutes earlier. On day one, Joe Biden will repeal that tax bill. They think we're stupid.